Hey guys, Mike Fasile here, and in this video, we're revealing how to make money with merch by Amazon, and more importantly, how beginners can earn $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Fasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened over this week's free workshop. But it's literally the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. Now, before we actually begin, it's important for you guys to understand what Merch by Amazon actually is. It is a print on demand service. And how it works is pretty simple. You upload your artwork or design, and don't worry if you're not an artist, if you're not the next Picasso, you don't need to be one. I'll show you exactly how I did it. Number two, you set your own list price. $15, $20, $30, whatever price that you want to use in this case. Let's just use 20 bucks. And then we print what's sold. When I say we, it's actually Amazon that does the printing and they ship it to them via Prime and you earn a monthly royalty for your artwork. That's really it. You know, I remember doing this back in the day with like elephant t-shirts and Jesus t-shirts. And it was very interesting because number one, I never actually had to do the customer service myself. Number two, I didn't have to worry about customer service. Number three, I didn't have to worry about, you know, the shipping and the returns and the handlings and the customer complaints. And it was kind of like an idea of passive income that was very exciting for me when I first heard about this print on demand concept, when I first was getting started with making money online. Now getting started is pretty easy. Number one, it's all about focusing on the right designs. How can you find designs that are actually gonna make you some money, okay? Because the thing about this is it's free to get started with Merch by Amazon. But just because it's free doesn't mean it's expensive in terms of time, okay? If, if you go to things that are free and you don't actually invest the right time into the right actions, then you're also just gonna like be spinning your wheels and hoping for things to happen and not actually do anything. So what I like doing is making sure that I pick the right design. So where I find that is by looking at other print on demand stores. So if I just type in, for example, cat t-shirt on Redbubble, it's also another marketplace where people go and buy uh, cat t-shirts. What I like doing is just going and organizing everything by best selling. The reason why is because these are literally telling me what's already selling on a different platform. And sometimes what works is just taking a concept that already works, uploading it on Merch by Amazon, and then being able to sell it on here. Like here's an example of some regular t-shirts that I've seen on other platforms. Like for example this, if someone buys this, literally Amazon does all the hard work and they just pay you royalties from you know the merch that you end up selling without actually having to touch inventory yourself. But you need to make sure you put the right designs as well as the right keywords for the designs. And we're gonna talk more about that later on. So Redbubble is just a good way, like I said, by organizing everything by best selling. Another idea is just going to Pinterest and finding out what people are actually pinning. Because the thing about Pinterest is a lot of people make their buying decisions from the social media platform. I know it's like very interesting. I wasn't really that good at Pinterest when I first got started. But as you can see, all of these people are pinning this on their board or their online digital refrigerator where it's reminding them to make a purchase later on. And because of that, they're telling you literally the best designs to go ahead and upload on Amazon to make sure that you could go ahead and make money. Okay, the third step is going on AliExpress and just doing the exact same thing, cat t-shirts. Now, a lot of dropshippers use Facebook ads to sell products like this um, on AliExpress. Now, as you can see, here's a pretty interesting design, right, because I saw something actually very similar to that right here. Look how weird that is. You know, 1,400 reviews, but it's the exact same t-shirt that I literally noticed on here on uh, you know AliExpress, right? So you can see that's a really good idea as well as like all these other things that are well and sold. You know, if you see sold right here, that means it has some type of demand. Look how cool this is. This is some cat like tearing out of the heart of the t-shirt, right? All of these things are all good to go. Now, once you've screenshotted and you found the right designs on actually works, the next step is getting a very cheap graphic designer to do all the hard work for you. Now, what I like doing is going to upwork.com where it's a very affordable place to get people to actually do the work for you. I would just type in Philippines because there's a lot of talented people there that do it for really, really cheap, right? That's where my family's from. That's like where like I'm like my like blood is from originally, even though I'm born in America, but just type in $10 and below. And what I did in the past is I would literally screenshot all of the designs that worked on Redbubble or Pinterest or AliExpress. And I would literally send it to a designer to just like pump through all of those designs. The craziest thing is I got it to the point where like 
in an hour they were able to create like eight images, right? So that's like $10 an hour, right? Especially if these designs are super simple, like these things right here, or this like yin yang thing right here, or this simple like cat coming out of the heart t-shirt, which is like pretty popular. You know, all these are pretty simple to do, especially this one right here. Like a graphic designer could get that done with little, in literally like a minute or two minutes. And of course it's really, really affordable. Like I said, $10 an hour or $8 an hour when you work with somebody from the Philippines. Last but not least is marketing. Now there's multiple ways that you could go out and market. Of course, if I just type in cat t-shirts, you could see that these are the things that I need to include in the title of my t-shirt for people to find me on Amazon. Now here's the thing about Amazon, it is a search engine. Same with how you go to Google and type in, is this wart contagious on like my pinky or whatever on Google or if you've ever had something weird happening and you Google the question for an answer, the exact same thing happens on Amazon every single day. Except people are looking at Amazon on what they could actually buy. So people are literally typing in cat t-shirts for women plus size, cat t-shirts for a woman long sleeve, cat t-shirt for men funny. If you do this, you need to make sure that this is in the title of your thing. Look at this, cat funny Mexican salsa, funny cat t-shirt, gift for cat owner. This thing, see you don't wanna just do funny tea, right? You wanna put something weird where it literally has like funny cat kittens, rock and roll t-shirt, gift, tea, pun. These are exactly what people are actually searching for on Amazon. So that's one way of marketing. Another thing that I like doing is partnering with influencers. So if I just type in cat tips, one of the things that I've noticed is you can literally find people that make videos about cats or whatever product that you wanna go ahead and sell. This is just for the sake of the argument for this example. And look at this, half a million views, only 3,000 subscribers. You can literally go up to them and send them a cat t-shirt for free. It would only cost you like seven bucks. Be like, hey, can you promote uh, my cat design? Um, I'll give you like, uh, like a percentage of the profits, right? And just like that, she'll love it because she only makes 3,000 subscribers. So she's not making any money, but she gets to make more videos about cats, which she loves doing. I would literally partner with someone like these people that make all these videos about cats or whatever niche that you're in, like this one, a million views almost, 16,000 subscribers. I would have them like make full-time videos about cats all the time and I would just pay them like the profits that I would actually make from this. So that way the marketing isn't just dependent on Amazon. Does that make sense? So guys, that's really it. That's how you make money with Amazon Merch. But of course, if you want a faster and easier way to make money online, check out the free workshop below. And if you're new to this channel and you want to find more ways to make money online, I've interviewed all the successful people that live here in Bali that make millions of dollars that travel around the world that are like digital nomads. And I've recorded them hour and two hour long free podcasts on the second link below. Hopefully that helps guys and let me know what you guys think. Love you guys. See you guys later. You.